So that is the real big question, is how do you deal with people, not just in the moment, but uh, actually to create new cultures, new uh, art worlds, for example. Um, and so that is a huge challenge, because uh, it's very easy for people just to float in and out of a commune to save money, and to have a cool experience, and you know, share some hammers and some wheelbarrows, but then ultimately, as soon as they get their big show, you know, they're just uh, another Donald Trump uh, Whatever, Back to the capitalist rat race. Yeah, they're basically using the, the communal life as a crutch to get going in the capitalist market. And so that's a big question, is how do you actually pull people out of that uh, lifestyle and um, have them really start something new? Uh, there's no particular easy answer except very uh, sustainable, functional uh, cooperatives would probably be your best bet. Right? If like, you can get a job and instead of like working for some jerk who's going to take all of your money, you can take home your bonuses, you can take home your profits, and you can take home your salary, and you've got benefits, insurance, and whatever, it's a pretty good deal. Uh, it's unambiguous, and I think there would be not much reason to leave, you know? So at the end of the day, that's what we have to figure out how to do. How do you start cooperative universities? How do you start cooperative uh, art galleries, cooperative museums? Um, cooperative dance halls. Uh, this would be the bigger challenge, but um, you know, obviously, we're starting smaller than that. Uh, but you know, I see that as a big uh, picture goal: is not to just feed into the bottom of the destructive market, but to really create a template for uh, a parallel um, world, right, that people can inhabit and grow.